Hey guys, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to TJN. So as the school year approaches, I thought it'd be a great idea to show you guys a quick and simple tour of my Notion. As you will probably see throughout this video, I am one of those people who like to keep track of literally anything and everything in my life. Not only in my bullet journal, but I also do it on Notion as well. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and find it useful. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome to my Notion. The first thing you see is obviously my homepage. I went for a green minimalistic theme. On the very top, we have an animated GIF that I got from Pinterest. I'm gonna start off at the very top. So we have a little quote that says, I think you should just go for it. And then I have these four different green folders that I actually drew on Procreate. And I saw this idea on Pinterest, so I decided to recreate it. And then I just use each folder um, as a quick link to my separate sub pages throughout the Notion. Um, moving down, we have some widgets on the right. We have how many days I have until graduation, um, then some pictures and a GIF. And then right in the center, we have my main calendar. On the left, we have my hub, which are some more quick links. And then we just have my notes um, on the left. I'm going to start off with the life page. So when you first open my life page, the first thing you see, um, you probably see, is my How's Moving Castle GIF. On the left, we have a cute calendar widget. Um, just says the date, you already know. Um, this section, this main section you see here is actually my important moments tracker. And this is something I often come back to. Like, as you can see, the dates are all super, super close to each other. Um, that's because I track important things that happened in my life. This day, um, this is when I went to Toronto and I just tracked it. Um, my first time having ramen and soup dumplings like at a restaurant. Um, I put the date and then these are the tags for the different um, events that could be happening. And then I also do a little note. So we walked 13K that day. The main point of this page is to basically um, have all these important moments in my life at a glance it's just so satisfying to me being able to look back and being like oh on this day this is what i did i also have a calendar so i can see when this stuff happened and then i also have a um, movies and show view and i really did this because during quarantine i watched a lot of shows moving down we have my quick links so i can get to the other pages super super easily then we have the personal section these are like random pages i honestly don't really use them um apart from journal and personal but i'll get more into that later um i'm gonna start off with this finance page which is basically where I track my finances. Um, I track the money that goes in and the money that goes out and this is organized through title, date, type of transaction, order, and price. Let me show you my type of transactions. Um, it's green if money's going in, for example Etsy or payroll, and then it's red if I'm doing a purchase. I also have a separate view to see my Etsy sales and then also like what type of thing I sold. Next, I'm gonna move on to my journal. And my journal is one of my favorite parts of having Notion, being able to keep all these entries on here. I do these, I like to say every week, but in reality, it's around every month. And I just like, write about everything that's happened throughout that time period since the last time I wrote. For example, um, this section, I put the date, I put the type, and then I put notes so I can just go back to the journal entry whenever I want. Um, the types of journal entries I have are these, love, update, etc. And then I just write about life. I even keep like screenshots on here when something happens. Like everything is on here. <laughs> I definitely recommend if you have a notion to do a journal. Then next we have my personal section. This is basically just where I keep like my usernames and passwords. I feel like this isn't very secure, but it's a great way for me to remember everything because I keep everything on here anyways. <laughs> Moving on, we have my academia section. This is basically what I'm going to use for school. Um, I actually redid my whole setup recently, so this is all new to me, and I absolutely love the setup. Um, obviously, we have the GIF, on the, and then on the very top, we have some links, and then we have these cute little um, images on the very top. So I can get to um, these different pages as quickly as I can without having to scroll all the way down throughout this page. Moving down, we have my agenda. I love this because I actually was able to do this little section here. We can just add a to-do which is so much more efficient than how I had it before. Okay, and then basically this section here, um, this is these are all my courses for this grade 12 year. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna be using it yet because it's still a work in progress, but it looks super cute, that's for sure. Moving down, we have my to-do section. The view is a board, and then it's separated according to personal, school, social, to buy, and then complete. So once I've already completed something, for example, let's say I finished editing this video, I can hold it 
and I can move it to complete section. We have my marks page. So um, basically how this works is we have my title, my course, my percentage, my type of assignment, my level, my points, and then a column for links. Um, basically how the level works, it's because I'm in IB, so we have the different levels here. And then points is because sometimes we don't know the level, so I just do um, how many points I got in that assignment. And then for the type, we have the different types of assignments then i also have different views for this so if i just wanted to see grade 9 i could just see grade 9. if i just wanted to see final marks i could see all my final marks right here another thing that i did is i organized it according to course when it's sorted because i didn't want it to be like all mixed up so as you can see this whole section here it's all my french and then this section here it's all my chemistry continuing down we have my master schedule of course which is also on my home page I have the title, I have the dates, I have the course, I have all my courses, and then I also have personal, work, extra school, then we have the assignment, and then we have whether or not it is finished or not. And then if you keep scrolling, we have another view for this. I also like it in this list view. Um, it's also it's pretty easy to see it at a glance but it's also nice to have it on a calendar so that's why i kept both views for this now my next section is one of my favorite sections it is my library obviously we have the quick links so you can move around and then on the right we have more quick links um we have a little um attack on titan moment as well as a jjk super super cute um scrolling down um we have more links um i like to use a lot of different apps to track like continue to track things so we have imdb so i can look at reviews my anime list goodreads of course um, manga updates it's super useful when you finish watching an anime and you want to start the manga and you want to know where the um anime ended off and then um under that we have online bookstores and then on the right we have a board for the um books i want to read um so the different sections we have here are reread manga manhua book and to buy um scrolling down we have my bookshelf this is another one of my favorite sections you can see the books i'm reading you can see the books that are on hold um what i'm waiting for more chapters of what i've completed and then if you click on the different view we have my manga collection we have what i'm reading what i want to read and what i've completed so i'm going to show you guys what one of these completed ones look like so we're going to go to waiting for spring um, we have the genres these are the different genres i have on here we have the status uh, am i reading am i on hold or did i not finish etc then we have the dates that i read it as you can see i read 14 volumes very quickly <laughs> you have the chapters read we have the total chapters, we have the total volumes read, and then total volumes. So the reason I did this is because I wanted to use this progress bar and I found this code online. But let's say I was only on chapter 45. Um, that means that I'm only 74% through the manga. It's just so cool to see how much I have left or how much I've read. Um, then we're going to move to the manga status, so completed or ongoing. Then we have the type, um, so I can just like organize it into different views. And then if it is part of my manga collection, I put this check mark in it, and that means that it will go into my manga collection view. And then I also have the volumes owned. It's in enable order. Very tedious, but worth it in the end. This section, usually it's where I write where the anime ended, um, so I can start reading that in the manga. Then one of my favorite parts um, of having Notion, I love, love writing essays about the things I read and the things I watch. So by having these pages, I can just rant on and on and on. And um, I also love how you can add the date you wrote this. So I just wrote at September 24th, 2021. And then I just started writing and I write a lot. Let, let's take a quick scroll through here. Yep, just me ranting about the book. Continuing on, we have the same thing, but for films. Um, then we have the same watch section. One of the main differences here is that I also have a rating system for them. For example, let's look at the Saints Magic Powers and Omnipotent. We have the progress bar once again, but for episodes. Um, then I have whether or not it's favorited, and then I also have a rating. Um, I feel like it's easier to rate shows than books for me. And then of course we have me writing about it. And then once again, these are separated into completed, currently watching, favorites, waiting for next season. And the last section I have is my tracker section. As I said, I like to track things. This is where I track the rest of them. So when you first open it, we just have a little image, another GIF. It's like a hourglass thing. 
once again we have the quick links we have a few more things here um i have separate links for the actual pages within here just in case i want to access them quickly once again on the right we have a workout tracker we have the time so the amount of time i worked out and then also distances like if i did a run then we have type um these are the different types i have and then this extra column here is where i track um just like little notes or i track how long i was on the elliptical um or how long i was on the treadmill for and then we have how many calories burned um then moving down um we have the club section on the right this is where i track the things i've done for clubs um we have the project the event um the status the date completed the type and then we have for what group I did it for. So then on the left, I wanted to do this little list for applications so I can see like at a glance everything I've done for um, extracurriculars. Then we have my cast section. This is specifically for IB. Um, this is just where I keep some notes um, about the things I want to do for it. Um, just like school notes. Then we have my wind down section. On the left, we have different times to go to sleep. This is because I track my sleep and I like it to look like i get a lot of sleep so i have some notes about um what time i need to go to bed so that i get the specific hours of sleep i always try to get at least eight hours has that been working no not during school then we have my tracker this is my wind down tracker i did this a lot earlier like i have a count of 76 um i kind of stopped i stopped in april but i used to track what time i'd get in bed and what time i'd get ready what activity i do before sleeping and then a little note then the last thing is my nap tracker this doesn't work very well because i fail at taking naps but i just made this randomly to track when i take naps i don't know why i find it satisfying but with the date we have a column of how i felt and then also comments about how long it was and then how it felt <laughs> So this was my Notion tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you were able to take away a few tips and tricks from this video and hopefully it helps you with your setup. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a nice day. Bye.